Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby if you're new here and today I'm going to be sharing seven ways you can improve your credit rating in Canada. So if you have a good credit score, credit rating, then you can get very low interest scores because that just tells the credit lenders that you're credit worthy and that you will pay. So let's get right into it. Remember, if you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button. So before we even get into that, what is a credit score? It's how worthy you are or it just tells credit lenders that can this person really pay back or is this person always getting into debt? So you want to make sure that's something you're keeping in very good condition. I'm going to show you what actually makes up a credit score. So on the screen here, you can find five different things. The first one is your payment history. So if you've been making your payments on time, 35% of what impacts your credit score is your payment history. So as long as you're making your payments on time, your credit history would be maintained. You would, be, you would keep having a good credit score. The next thing is credit utilization. 30% makes up your credit utilization, but that just means that if you have 1,000, you need to make sure you're only using below 30%, which is $300 of that credit. If you need more, you need to increase your credit limit. The next thing is credit history. So the longer you've had a credit card, the better for you. So the next 10% actually means um, credit type. So a mix of credit. The more diversified credit type you have, the better for you. So that signifies that across these different types of credit, you've been credit worthy and you're not defaulting in one. The last thing is the presence of inquiries. Short definition is just someone else checking if you're actually credit worthy. In Canada here, there are two credit bureaus that manage the credit scores of the entire Canada. The first one is TransUnion and the second one is Equifax. Now these two, even if they sort of have the same requirements they're looking at, their scores are usually different. So that's something you need to consider. Your score with Equifax might be completely different from your score with TransUnion. And um, most of them are, are paid. Equifax is paid, but they have the free version, which is Borrow Well. So with Borrow Well, I'll put the link down below. You can actually register and it gives you your credit score as you would have seen it with Equifax without paying. TransUnion, on the other hand, while it's also paid, a lot of financial institutions, for example, mine, would also give you the option of seeing your credit, your TransUnion credit file on your app. But if you're looking for a free version, if you don't bank with Scotia Bank and you want a free version of TransUnion, you can also check Credit Karma, register, fill in your details, and then they will give you your credit score. So now let's do a live demo. I bank with Scotia Bank, and because I bank with them, they also give me a tab where I could check my credit score. So I'll show you what it looks like on the app. And you don't have to bank with this bank to actually get this. As I mentioned, you could check Borrow Well for Equifax credit scores, or you could check Credit Karma for TransUnion. But let's just go to the app so we can see what we need. And I'm just looking down because I'm looking at my phone, but I'm gonna put it on the screen so you guys can see what I'm seeing. So for example, you can see my credit score right now says, 767 which is good but I will tell you what I did wrong in the past so that you guys will learn from my mistakes if I just click on understand your score it tells you that these are the um, factors that are making my credit quite low for example mortgage um, experience so you notice i mentioned before that i rent i don't own property but if you own property and you have a mortgage or you have loans and you're paying those loans off it just tells the credit agencies here that ah this person is a good person to borrow money to because they owe a lot but they are still paying so i don't have mortgage so that's why it says insufficient mortgage ex experience the second thing there is presence of an inquiry. So anytime you go and look for new credit cards, so for example, if you go to Costco and you say, oh, I want to get a Costco credit card, the Costco people would check your credit file to make sure they should even be giving you a credit card. And anytime they check to see if you are a good credit client, that's an inquiry. So there are two types of inquiry. There's like the hard one and the soft one. The hard one take points off your credit score. So that's something you need to be careful of every time you want to apply for credit is that the fact that they are inquiring means 
they are that's going to reduce your credit score a little bit but for soft checks trying to rent an apartment a landlord will want to check if you have a good credit file so that doesn't impact your score i would quickly show you a previous um credit score that i took a picture of so you can see what my credit at that time was so as you can see right now it says 31st may i was at 805 and september I, dro I dropped to like 700. the reason was because i was so bored at home i wanted to increase my line of credit so i kept pinging it i pinged it four times and you know as i mentioned before those are hard checks hard inquiries because of that my credit score dropped from 802 or 805 to like 760 so you have to make sure you're restricting or limiting the amount of inquiries into your credit file so i just really want to show you what it looks like here i will show you where i stand and this is really good because it says your score is higher than 51 percent of the consumers with a transunion credit file so you can see 790 to 832 is very good 833 to 900 is excellent so you want to make sure you're actually in the blue and green i'm actually quite bad with transunion but i'll show you what it looks like with borrower which is equifax so let's do that really quickly so as you can see with equifax my credit score is 780 and they've termed that as excellent transunion it was 767 but with equifax it is 780 so and it says it's above the our better average of 739 i have a good credit score keep up the great work so let's go back to how you can actually improve your credit score number one you always have to make sure you are looking at your credit you need to be on top of this because a lot of people get their identities stolen they have their credit card maxed out by someone else that they don't even know so you want to always make sure you're looking at your credit cards all the time number two start paying with your credit card so i think it's really important that the more you use your credit card and pay it off the better for you because that just signifies to the lenders that oh this person is credit worthy we can actually give them more credit number three keep your credit utilization low so what is that you might ask so for example if i have a credit limit of 1000 optimal utilization is less than 30 percent so that means that at any given time out of 1000 i should only be using 300 and less and the way a lot of people actually manage this is by getting a lot of credit cards or increasing their lines of credit or increasing the credit they own so that you can actually use more because by the time you start using 900 dollars out of 1000 the credit companies are like hmm this person might be fishy maybe they are doing something we don't know why are they using so much credit so you want to make sure you're keeping your credit utilization low number four pay off your debts on time to be honest don't even wait till the grace period is over before you pay it off once you miss a debt once that impacts your credit card so much another way you can increase your credit score and this was taught to me by a friend of mine and she heard it from a financial advisor when you pay off your credit if you're owing hundred dollars don't just pay off hundred dollars pay hundred dollars and fifty cents so just throw in like 12 cents 20 cents above your your fee and put it there that really increases your credit score because that just signifies to them that you're not counting pennies so just make sure you're paying off your credit balance on time the fourth way i would say you can increase your credit which i really don't even have that much is credit history so the way it is is that the longer you've owned a credit card the better your credit rating is because they would say oh you've owned this card for like 10 years wow you've actually been paying off your debts for 10 years so if you're like me who's always closing one account to open another account that's not good so make sure you find an account that you really like and stick with it to the long term and even if you don't really like it you maybe need to consider first building up your credit rating with an alternate card before closing it so a lot of credit lenders will say don't close your credit cards and if i show you my file i must have closed about five or six credit cards because i'm like i don't want to pay annual fees 
So I was closing these cards, but that means all the history I had accumulated with these credit cards, good history, have been lost. So keep your credit cards for a long time. The fifth way I would say you can increase your credit card really quickly is to have a mix of credit. So as I mentioned, I don't have a mortgage and I don't have a loan, so I don't even have a car. So I'm not making some sort of payments every month. And what that means is that I don't have those kinds of credit. You need to diversify your, your kinds of credit. For example, you if you have a mortgage, that's great. If you have a car loan, that's fine. If you have a line of credit, that's fine. If you have bills here and there, that's also fine. But the more diverse types of credit you have that makes up your credit portfolio, the higher your credit rating would be. So that's always a good thing. But that's not to say go and get a car that you cannot afford because you want to increase your credit rating. That's very counterproductive, so you don't want to do that. So I think I mentioned a few things. The last one though, I've already alluded in the past, the presence of soft and hard inquiries. I've told you that anytime you go and look for a new credit card and they have to check your credit file, that's a hard inquiry. So that takes points off your credit score. But a soft inquiry, for example, trying to get a rental property, trying to get a, um, a house doesn't really impact your credit. But you need to make sure that if you're shopping from place to place to place, looking for who is going to give you credit, then that's a red flag to this credit agency. So you want to make sure you're not doing that because that's just reducing your credit score. So I think the seven ways I have highlighted to you would help you actually maintain a good credit score here in Canada. But just remember, even if it is credit, it's not your money and you shouldn't spend it indiscriminately. Thanks guys again for watching. If this has been helpful for you, click the like button and also click the subscribe button. That really helps my channel grow. Thanks guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.